On August 29, 2018, astronauts aboard the International Space Station had a potential leak. Now at first, mission controllers on the ground noticed this, and the astronauts were asleep. They didn't do anything because the leak was very small and not really going to cause any kind of issues. But the next morning, first thing when they woke up, they looked to find the source of this leak, and they found it. It was a very small, about two millimeter hole, just a tiny, tiny little hole like the size that you would come from a drill or something along those sides. The first report said that some kind of an impact of a small event, something like a grain of sand hitting the space station at high speeds was the likely culprit. However, upon further consideration, they determined that it was probably a drill by somebody who had been building a space station on the ground. And that drill could have potentially caused some serious damage. Now, to cover it, they probably used some form of glue. Probably a little bit better than this, but still some glue. That glue was hard enough for it to hold seal and still pass the acceptance testing on the ground. But when it got into space and was exposed to the vacuum and the radiation in space, eventually that temporary seal fell through and caused the issue that we resulted on Thursday morning in them finding. What they did initially, well, first thought that they had was, let's use my thumb. So astronaut Alex Gerci was perhaps the first person in the history of spaceflight to touch vacuum with his bare skin and live to tell the tale. He put his thumb over it and he didn't keep it there for very long, but they made sure to inform mission controllers that in fact it was a thumb that was keeping the seal safe. The next thing they did, what any good engineer would do, they turned to duct tape. Well, not really duct tape. They'd use some kind of a tape, it looks kind of like this masking tape, but it's called Kapton tape. It's a space rated tape. It looks yellowy in color. I'll show an image of this while I'm going through. And that Kapton tape was able to hold a seal, but it wasn't good enough. And so what they finally did is they put a very fine mesh from the medical grade area, and then they put some kind of an epoxy solution on it. That epoxy was able to hold it very well, and you can see here what the final result of that image looks like. The astronauts were never in any real danger. First of all, they have plenty of extra air just in case something like this would happen. And they could have survived for weeks or even months. If I did the math right, it would have been 50 to 100 days before they even really started to be in any real danger from this leak on the International Space Station. But still, you want to take care of this quickly because it could result in an issue. Now, the area that was affected was the orbital module of a Soyuz capsule. That is very good news. Why is it good news? Well, first of all, that orbital module is going to be discarded in space. Here, after a couple of months, it stays on the space station for about six months, and then it will return to Earth. Secondly, the astronauts will not actually be in that part of the module when it's landing on the ground. They'll be in the Soyuz capsule. And thus, nothing that was absolutely critical or going to be on the space station for a long period of time was actually in any danger. Let me know whatever questions or comments you guys have about this or any other topics space exploration related. And until next time, keep on tracking.